All right, guys. So a Texas teacher, uh, Dan Grunewall, who teaches animation, audio and video production and arts of communication at Timber Creek High School, um, was asked to remove a Black Lives Matter flag from his classroom. Right. And because he was asked to do that by the uh, administration, the school board, um, he's accusing them of siding with racism right he said that siding with racism because he can't put his political opinions up on the wall for all his students to see right he can't indoctrinate students so therefore the uh school is siding with racism so before i get in this i want you guys to actually see the clip of this teacher discussing this issue and then i'll give you my opinion take a look Dan Grunewald is a teacher at Timber Creek High School. This is my third year. But the animation and arts of communication teacher was not in his classroom today. Sent home. Dan said school administrators asked him twice to take down this Black Lives Matter poster that's been hanging on his wall since last year. He declined to remove it both times. It was a directive to take the sign down and by not, I'm going against that directive, but it's wrong. Keller ISD does not discuss individual personnel matters, the district told me in a written statement today. No one from the district would go on camera. But a spokesperson emailed a district policy that says, quote, teachers shall not use the classroom to transmit personal beliefs regarding political or sectarian issues. And the district has routinely asked employees to remove items posted on classroom walls that are considered expressions of personal beliefs. But Dan says he was not asked to take down the LGBTQ plus pride poster also hanging on his wall. I was told that Black Lives Matter is a controversial statement, which is simply not something I agree with. I figure it is a small gesture that I can make to my students of color that I see them. The district said, quote, Keller ISD and Timber Creek High School encourage our teachers to create a classroom culture that respects diversity of our school community through a culture of understanding. And it is our expectation that they do so without visual representations of their own personal beliefs on classroom walls. Dan says he plans on showing up to work tomorrow. He says HR told him he could lay the Black Lives Matter banner flat on top of his desk. As educators, it's our job to expose students to other ways of thinking in keller i'm ariel placencia all right guys so first of all um this guy is just like refusing to do right what they're telling him to do right they're, they're, he's like oh, i'm gonna keep up the poster right I'm, I'm not gonna take it down now i don't know why um they didn't ask him to take down a pride flag because in my opinion that would be the same thing right to be consistent they should be asking him to take down a pride flag too okay just like if there was any political sign, it was a Trump sign, it's a sign or a flag associated with right-wing movement, you got to take it down, right? Um, either you can have all of it or you can have none of it, okay? That, that's my stance on that, right? Um, so I do find it interesting that they didn't say anything about that. Maybe they're taking it one step at a time. I don't know. I don't know. But it's funny because, you know, he said that, well, they're siding with racism, right? And... You know, I, I got questions about that because when I see somebody fly Black Lives Matter flag, um, could I assume that you're siding with being anti-police? Are you siding with being against the nuclear family, right? Are you siding with things that the Black Lives Matter organization has endorsed, right? Which is Marxism, communism, things like that. Because if we want to play this game of, well, if you don't support my movement, then you're siding with racism, then, okay, if you want to say that, that's fine. Well, I can say that because you support your movement, that you're siding with all these ideologies that are toxic to the black community, right? And see, that's the problem. A lot of these people just assume that, well, I'm doing something good for the black community because I'm showing my support for Black Lives Matter. Not all black people uh, agree with Black Lives Matter. Matter of fact, there's a ton of black people now that if you ask them about Black Lives Matter, they'll say, yeah, I, I kind of agree with the, the term, right? Black Lives Matter, small caps. But when it comes to Black Lives Matter, all caps or uh, capitalized, uh, probably not, right? We, we're talking about the organization. And it, again, it's funny because they're in this, this, this conundrum where there's no distinguishment between the, just the, the phrase Black Lives Matter, small caps in, in the organization. Okay, so if you fly the flag, then it has to be assumed that, you know, you're probably in support of both. 
right? And if I make that assumption again, then I have to assume that you believe or you support all these these toxic ideologies, right? You're against the nuclear family. Uh, you're you're anti-black man, right? Because I do think that Black Lives Matter is anti-black man. They're definitely anti-black man for sure, right? So don't sit here and try to tell me that if I don't support your political belief, then I'm I'm I'm, I'm siding with racism. Don't tell me that. Also, don't sit here and try to talk about how. Well, I'm showing support for black people and, you know, I'm trying to be pro-black and this, that. No, no. The best thing that you can do for black people as a teacher is to teach them some damn skills, right? You have a class that is based off animation, audio production, and arts and communication. These are skills, right? So if you really want to help out black people, you need to make sure your students, right? All of them, not just black students, but in general, you need to be the best teacher that you can. You need to focus on teaching kids how to make videos, right? So they can start YouTube channels. I'm just saying right teach them real skills that's your job as a teacher that's how you empower them that's how you support them but you're not supporting them when you want to focus on putting your political beliefs up and trying to indoctrinate people into what you believe tell me well i'm supporting them i'm just showing i care about them okay that's fine that's great i'm glad you care about them but if you really care about them again focus on teaching Focus on doing your job better. Focus on doing what you're being paid to do. That's what you need to focus on. So until then, I, I don't want to hear anything about your political beliefs, right? And and I, and I hope the school board uh, or the administration, whoever's requiring him to do this, they need to tell him to take down the pride flag too. And again, that's not anti-pride. That's not anything like that. It's not, it's just consistency. It's like you either can have it all or you can have none of it. Because I'm sure the same teacher, right, Probably would not be cool if it was a Trump flag, it was a right wing flag. We got to decide, man. Either everybody can put up whatever they want, right? Or you can't have anything at all. Got to decide, okay? So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.